morning angels from a very good morning looking Ellie. I have literally just woke up and I've just been doing a little bit of spring cleaning around the house. Don't mind me, half empty pack of pop chips in my office. I actually tried to hide them from myself because I was eating them yesterday when I was editing and I literally wasn't even hungry. So I just hid them in my throw basket and then Connor found them and he was like, what are they? And I was like, oh, I don't know, how they must have put them there. But yeah, good morning. Um, it's Saturday morning in our household. Hello, Herbie. Hello, Hi, darling. Herbie. Hello, Con. Hello, Hello, angels. Hello. Hello. Yeah, you like that, don't you, Herb? Hello, Herbie. <laughs> Hello. Good morning. Oh, that's him saying good morning as well, angels. He likes to talk by going. Is that right? That's We're nice. in the midst of learning spin, aren't we, Herbie? Oh, no spin. Spin round. Have we not shown the angels that? No, we oh, haven't shown the angels that. One, Good boy. Spin. Good. <laughs> oh my! I am such a proud mama. Good boy. So, Con, today's video is going to be a weekend vlog. Oh no. <laughs> Con's not one wearing of those. some new clothes, he's still got the tags in everywhere. Outfit, Angels, think. look at Con's new outfit for leg day. Love that so out. much. Herbie really, Herbie wants some leggings too. Oh my goodness, look how sunny and it's fresh tan, it feels it. today. Do I? It's because I use my Clarins face tan thing just my moisturiser. Um, so, yeah, oh, today's Saturday it. morning. Con is off to the gym today. I'm actually having a rest day from the gym today because I just woke up with a really overwhelming urge to go to HomeSense and I get this every, I'm going to say at least once a month, I wake up one day, it's completely random, don't know what day it's going to be, but I wake up and I'm like, HomeSense, today, the queen is coming back, it's like, a, it's like, you know the mother of dragons con and then the mother of HomeSense, like I am the mother of HomeSense. Because I just need to go and protect my land. Well, you brought Herbie into there. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to go and do that this morning. And then tonight we have Lucy and Kane coming over because we are going to watch the new Ted Bundy film. What's it called? Shockingly Extremely Wicked or something. Extremely I don't, wicked. I don't really know. But we mm. discovered it's actually on our TV because we have Sky Sky Cinema. Um, and for some reason, Sky have like bought the movie and they're showing it to all their Sky Cinema customers. So they're going to come around tonight and we're going to have a bit of a movie night, which is going to be really fun. I think I might cook for everybody. And oh. it's bank holiday as well, so tomorrow we might do something cute. So, yeah. Oof, oof, oof. I really want to make sure that I have a nice relaxed weekend this weekend because I've had such a busy week with work. Like, I, it's just been one of those weeks where I felt like I haven't stopped. I felt like my whole entire week has been about work. And I woke up this morning and I was like, I kind of just need to do something to like de-stress. So I just thought it'd be really fun to vlog as well. This is like a really last minute vlog. I wasn't even going to vlog, but I know you guys love to see home sense. So duh. Anyway, I'm going to eat my Weetabix. Con's going to eat his. Did you go for cold in the end, dear? Yeah. Good job. Herbie wants to play football with someone. Herbie, pick someone out of the angel crowd to play football with you. Oh Heather, my goodness. You said? Heather. Yeah. Heather, if you're watching, <laughs> if he wants to play. <laughs> wow. Oh my goodness, this lawn is just atrocious. Have we told him about the lawn? No. Con actually ruined um, our first lawn mower on the first time using it. We were insta storing it, but then I think we were a bit embarrassed to show that part, so, weren't we? I'm sure the angels saw how proud I was of my <laughs> topless lawn mowing technique and ability. Come on, boo, Herb's waiting. But at the very last corner, because it's electric, there's a cord. I ran over the cord and it popped. And I've just had to go buy a new one. So we can do this. Yeah. I might do it in the vlog, get my top out, little montage. Oh my the angels. gosh, Connor, you don't always have to mow the lawn with your top off. Anyway, yeah. Having a nice little bit of a cleaning, refreshing day today. The main reason I want to go to Home Centre, to be honest, is to get some more faux flowers. Because there are certain spots, certain windowsills that are just empty right now. Oh, I need to get it done. Oh, 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 no. looking so crazy, my baby, I'm not myself. Yay, angels. We have made it to HomeSense. I'm having a really, really nice time at the moment. You know, had a quick hair wash, which is why my hair looks frizzy like this. And I just thought, you know what? It's going to be like a really nice makeup-free me time kind of day. So I actually just hopped in the car and here we are. 
one hour later arrived at home sense very excited to pop in and see what we have in store um i'm wearing these sunglasses today which are actually from motel rocks and whenever i wear them connor says i look like a celeb i mean you do you boo do you know what i mean also i remember there's a pizza hut right next door and i'm literally not joking angels it will take me all of my self-will that i have to not go in there and get cookie dough oh oh my goodness every single time i come here i am just blown away <gasps> wow oh my goodness angels this couch is an absolute must have <gasps> I literally can't even explain to you guys how gorgeous that is. If anybody's a huge Peacock fan, um, they've got a fantastic statue in here for £300. They've got so much gorgeous garden bits and pieces in here that I'm honestly so desperate to buy, but I'm kind of trying to wait until we buy our own house to spend loads of money on garden furniture just so I can have everything like all colour matching and same sort of scheme and everything because you just don't know what's going to happen, you know? But wow. I mean, the stuff in here is just so cute. Oh, stop. Look at these sofas. Oh my goodness, baby pink. Wow. Oh no, do I need that for my office? No, I don't because it definitely won't go anywhere, but wow, angels, can you just imagine? Oh, maybe not for 500 pounds. Nice knowing you. They've got so much luggage in here. This is usually all lamps when I come um, here, like all the other times, but yeah, they've got loads and loads of really nice luggage pieces in here. I actually picked up some really cute suitcases from um, the TK Maxx, which is near my house, like 10 minutes from my house. Um, they're baby pink, DKMY suitcases. They are literally so gorgeous. I did show them on my Instagram stories. So if you guys don't watch my Instagram stories, you probably should because that's literally like where I keep you guys up to date with everything else. I love all of these like fake book stationery pieces for home office, I think they're all so cute. Yeah, my favorite part. Oh my God, the main reason why I'm here, look at all of these stunning flowers. Okay, so I have a few different places in my house that I need some new flower arrangements. So I'm gonna try and pick some out. Hmm, I wonder if any of you guys can guess what I've literally been doing for the last hour pretty much i've been putting together all of these flower arrangements for the different spots around our house and i've also just come across this absolutely gorgeous baby pink cushion thought it was an absolute vibe um and that's pretty much all of my trolley and i think i'm actually done because that was the main reason why i came to home sense was to get some of the flowers so um i think it's time to go to the checkout <laughs> hello gorgeous angels i am now back from home sense and i've just done a bit of tidying around the house um, I also popped to Tesco's because obviously, as I said earlier, I have some friends coming around tonight um, to watch the new Ted Bundy slash Zac Efron movie. So I went and got some snacks, but I think we're going to get a Nando's for dinner. Um, yeah. So now I've tidied up and everything, I thought I could show you a few of the new flower arrangements I bought from HomeSense today. That was kind of all I really got. I didn't really buy much else. I bought a mug because obviously, would it really be an Ellie Dabby trip to HomeSense if I didn't buy a mug? The answer would be no. Hello, sweetheart. He always likes to come and see what I'm doing when I'm vlogging because he thinks I'm talking to him. Okay, so the first flower arrangement that I bought was this really gorgeous one here. Um, this was already like pre-made and as you can see, the little stems are like stuck to the bottom of the bowl. I really, really love this one. I love the colours in it. It's kind of like a really light faded baby pink and then whites and obviously it's faux flowers. I just think it's absolutely stunning. So that is my new centrepiece. Um, I really wanted to get faux flowers for the centrepiece because ever since Christmas I've had something like seasonal and it was just getting really annoying like having to change it every, every couple of months. So my Easter wreath has gone and my gorgeous new faux flowers are here to stay. And then also um, I just bought this so this is just a collection that i made myself um please ignore like what is around it i need to tidy it all up and find new home strip because they are my christmas decorations but you guys will probably remember at christmas time here i had like a reindeer set of it's kind of like a candelabra really right herb and i did love it and it went so nicely with the theme of the room that i kept it there slash i couldn't i was like too lazy to buy anything else but when i was just in home sense today and i was buying all the other flowers i just thought it would make sense to buy some that went Similarly, who would you like to show them the hallway table? Come here then. Hello, angels. 
this is the new table. Oh no, that's dad's office in there. That's dad's office, silly. Yep, so here we have the f new little pieces on the hallway table. I'll get my phone off of there so you can just see. Um, after like months of having this table, not really knowing what to put on it because it is so thin and it's kind of like an awkward place in the hallway so if we put too much on it it just looks too like too much you know so the other day i actually got sent this absolutely gorgeous wreath new wreath from secret garden company my friend rachel there has done like an amazing job this is actually called the angel wreath and i do believe it is actually on sale at the moment so i'll put the link to her shop in the description box below but yeah this wreath was custom designed it was an angel theme obviously because we're all angels and um yeah i love it so so much you guys might remember the uh flower e that i have in my office and also my autumn wreath that i have from the secret garden company as well so yeah love that so much and then today i just bought this really gorgeous um i think this is cherry blossom and honey candle but it's baby pink and it's so gorgeous and it fits perfectly in the wreath and then just another flower arrangement here with a cute vase that is kind of like how i'm just going to leave that table i've really been fussing about it and i just think less is more so i really like that as you come in obviously over there we have the other flowers which have been there for ages they are again all from home sense herbie has got his antler and then over here oh excuse my messy sofa over here we have some snacks for this evening so this is what i went and bought at tesco's for me lucy and kane and i think connor are we actually being blessed with your presence this evening as well now unfortunately you are yeah connor was supposed to be going out and meeting some friends but he is going out drinking tomorrow Let, am i right in this story boo you're going out drinking tomorrow so you didn't want to drink tonight yeah two days on the road he thought he was going to be going out with some food. No, he thought he was going to be going out for some food with friends tonight, but they decided to go out for drinks instead. And... Oh. oh, don't mind me, Herb. Um, yeah, he just thought that he couldn't handle two nights. We're very excited for Mummy and Herbie evening tomorrow, aren't we? Yeah, we like that, don't we? Oh my. Oh my goodness, so you guys are literally going to die at the stacks. So... I bought some salt and vinegar Pringles, obviously, because they are life. Me and Emily were, like, loving those so much in Lanzarote, and I have not been able to get them out of my head. Oh, my goodness, Con, this is a sign. On the salt and vinegar Pringles, it says, Destination Greece. Me and Con have literally been, like, trying to decide where to go for our summer holiday this year for a few days in July, and we have literally been going between Greece, Turkey, Cyprus, and then a couple of other places, but I... I think we need to go to Greece now, boo. I think that's a sign. I also got us some Krispy Kremes. I got three because there's three of us, but now Connor is joining. That makes it four, which is awkward, but actually he probably won't even have a Krispy Kreme, so that's fine. Um, I got us some three for a pound sweets there. I'm really excited to try those watermelon slices. And then, oh my goodness, this is the big deal, which I literally have not seen in tesco's before but they have like their new brand popcorn salted caramel popcorn with smooth malt chocolate oh my goodness and cookie popcorn as well oh my goodness it's all white chocolate and then they also had a brownie popcorn which was brownie and milk chocolate but I, then i thought like oh, that's too much chocolate so i thought salted caramel would be good yeah and then we're gonna get a nando's as well um what else did i get i did get a couple more flower arrangements today which are upstairs but it's really messy upstairs at the moment so i'll show you guys that tomorrow and also i had a really big top shop delivery today so i can show you guys that in the morning as well but lucy and kane are literally supposed to be here in like five minutes so i'm just gonna continue prepping the house maybe light a few more candles think about my nando's order because i think we're gonna be ordering um quite quickly when they arrive because i'm starving and i literally want zach Efron on my screen right now lamp off, boy. turn the lamp off boo oh, yeah. no flashback on the screen please at home cinema here we are everybody with our nandos hey kane hey loose Hello. everyone's got their nandos con is looking after us all making sure it's all dark in here <laughs> he's excited for a bit of zach me good morning angels from a not very well ellie this morning it's sunday morning um i literally feel awful hello con kit con oh who's this model who is this model so 
yeah, I have a really, really bad headache. I woke up with a really, like, big tension headache. I get them quite a lot, but not really to this extreme. It's so painful. Um, and I feel actually quite sick, but I think that's because I haven't eaten yet today. But I have plans today to go out for lunch with my mum and Katie. And I just thought, like, although I feel not great, it's best to just kind of, like, get ready, go. I find a lot of the times it's just in my head. So, um, at least today, you know, I've, like, showed up you know so this is my outfit we're literally going to go for some lunch um to a pub that i actually used to work at fun fact about me got some of my shoes on um yeah so have you bro look how big connor's feet look in there they look outrageously big versus don't they? mine big guy yeah a lot of the time a lot of the time it is in ellie's head <sighs> but now i am dressed and ready and i don't feel good you know like i feel almost even worse anyway connor is dressed as well because he is going out actually with some friends today Oh my god, look at you. Connor's literally such a boy. I'm gonna miss boy. you so much, Boo. I'm gonna literally miss you so much. <laughs> you and her, no, I'm gonna you're... be out and I'll be like, no, I need to see him. <laughs> you're not. I am. Because nice. guess what, guys? He's going out for the day and then he's also going straight out to like pubs in the evening. Oosh. And then he's staying out. Oosh. Because I refuse to go and pick him up. That's nasty. It's not nasty, Con. I, I bet the angels would pick me up, wouldn't you, angels? The angels probably would, Con, but yeah, they haven't been for five years, have they, mate? Yeah, and also at this pub, they allow dogs. So Herbie doesn't know it yet, but he's coming on a little lunch date with his mama. Herbie? I'm going to say this life fortune thing. I'd even uh, cut my hair and change my name. Cause I just Wanna be big rack stars and live in hilltop houses driving 15 cars Herbie's paw is so cute, look at that little paw look, look. The girls come Why are you repeating that line? <laughs> and the <clears throat> comes cheap <laughs> So are you excited for your day apart from us? Not really, I'm kind of regretting it, I wish I never Connor, no, it. don't even lie. Don't even lie. Don't you dare. I do really like your outfit, though. Thank you, darling. I like yours as well. <laughs> Herbie's little poor con. Will that give him arthritis in the future? That's what I need to ask myself. But, <laughs> He's doing Herbie, it, anyway. it doesn't matter because as long as you're happy, that's all that matters. You know that, don't you? You could do that again on both if you want. Oh. <laughs> Herbie? Herbie? Oh, oh. Oh, sweet. Oh. Guys, we've, angels, we found out a new thing Herbie loves. Look. Hang on, let me, hang on. Can you go out there? Because this room's really messy and I don't want to show the angels the messy parts. <laughs> this is his favourite thing. You should just pretend to blow into your hand. Why would you love it? I don't even need to actually do it, I just need to do this. Yeah, me too. Oh! oh. You got tall ears, he's nearly as tall as you. Yeah, he is nearly as tall as me. Oh! Okay, who's ready for a little lunch date? Herbie, I'm are you ready? I'm actually starving, Marv. Yeah, me too, I can't wait. I'm Hank Marvin. I'm really hoping that I feel like this because I'm hungry. No, because I'm actually ill. But Connor felt this. Ha Connor felt how I feel today earlier on in the week, and it only lasted for a day, didn't it, Con? Well, well, it wasn't even a day. It was literally like half day, wasn't it? It was Friday evening. I felt like absolute turd. <laughs> but now we're here. From the bad now, the whole team's here. This is the team. Eins, zwei, drei. Queen, King, Prince. And this is probably going to be the last time you see Connor until tomorrow. I'll be not like this. Non existent, pretty much. Actually, Els, <laughs> I'm gonna try my hardest to not actually get like hungover. So, this is my plan. Number one, not drink as much. Number two, be sensible. And number three, when it gets past 12, with every drink I buy, I also have a water. Why, when it gets past 12? Should that not be like since you, till you start drinking? Connor, this is what I mean. And when I get home, I'm not going to go straight to sleep because I feel that's what does me in. I go straight to sleep. Well, what on earth are you going to be doing? Just, like, have something to eat and drink loads of water when I'm home. Well, thank goodness you're not going to be here when you're doing that. I might get a taxi. You're not going to get a taxi home. Hello! Boom, boom, boom! 
<laughs> Open the door! Herbie, help! That's what I'll say. No. Herbie will look out the window on his night shift. What's going on out there? Me and Herbie are going to finish watching Chambers today. You will not. <laughs> yes, we will. You will not. <laughs> yes, we will. That's what we're doing. When you go out on the Raz. Yeah, Con, come on. I really want to really want to finish watching right, it today. You, you finish watching it. Okay, yeah, yeah. I will then go watch... Um, <laughs> yeah, nothing makes... Star, is... Star is Born with Shay. Would you like that? No, you won't. I will, mate. You wouldn't do that, though. Shay wouldn't want to watch it with you. Whereas I have a little partner that always wants to watch stuff with me. Yeah. <laughs> Come on in, Herbie. Let's go out for some lunch. I think I've got everything I need. Do you reckon you could just give me the Cute one Cute night over? bag. Pyjamas? Check. You haven't got pyjamas, have you? You're going to use your boxes, aren't you? Oh, I've got shorts and you look pyjama top. Have you got new underwear? Yeah. Deodorant? Deodorant. Toothbrush? No. See? That's what I need you! Clothes for tonight? Yeah, I got those beauties. Got that. I want that herb. I got that proper. That's really all you need, to be honest. Money, ID? I got. Boo. Boo, come on, yeah? I can't take that out of Norton. People try to rob me. No, Con, come on, you're all right. I got your driving license as well, Angels. Oh yeah, it's a much better pick. Have they seen my old pick? Yeah, they must have done. <laughs> I didn't actually get ready for that. They caught me off guard. Oh, they didn't. No, I went Con. down to. You sat in a booth. Yeah, but I didn't know I was actually going to get my photo taken then and there, and someone else did it for me, so I wasn't able to do my hair. So they were like, "Okay, then look at the thing." I was like. Psh. What an absolute! I'm so sorry that happened to you. So I've got that for the next ten years. Great. By the time I next do it, I'll have I'll be bald, grey beard. Right, this is the longest clip I've ever seen in my whole entire life. Yeah, and it's mainly just you chatting rubbish, mate, because you're so excited to go out with your mates. Yeah, but the angels like that, don't they? Probably of course not. they do. They do. They'll probably just skip this whole ten minutes. No, section. they won't. Come on, Hebby. Oh, that was quick, darling. That was so quick. Okay, here we are. Herbie is. Okay. Being very good. We have come to the Barge, which is one of our favourite pubs to come to some lunch to. Um, I actually used to work here. Mm. It's so nice. Oh my goodness, I'm so hungry. You okay, sis? The angels haven't yeah. seen you in this vlog. Yeah. Here's my mum as well. Hello. Come on for some nice lunch. Food has arrived. Sis, how yummy does this roast this actually looks look? So good. Looks I'm so. Good. Yeah, me too, sis. And I'm so proud of Herbie. He is literally being he's so well behaved, isn't he? He's been so good, isn't he, sis? Yes. Very, very proud of you. Okay, who's ready? Little boy. Do I have a little son called Herbie Moo who wants to go out Hey guys, okay, my camera is actually on red, that's great. Um, it's seven o'clock in the evening, Sunday evening. Connor has been gone since like, I don't know, whenever I went out for lunch, so like one. <laughs> and I'm bored. Me and Herbie, we're bored, aren't we darling? He just had his... <laughs> and um we're just bored babes to be completely honest i was contemplating ordering a domino's sorry if you can see into that room and it's a real mess because it is that's why um and so <laughs> we had a conversation and decided that we are going to go on a walk <gasps> Okay, so yeah, that's what we're gonna do now. Sorry, just my camera literally just died. So now I'm vlogging on my iPhone, which I think is the first actual ever time I've ever done that. Um, so yeah, we're going out for a walk. And by the way, there's my plant pot. That's gonna be a rose bush when it blossoms. Hashtag gardening princess. Me and my mum went to the gardening center like a few weeks ago and I just fell in love. I thought, oh my God, I need some rose bushes in my life. So yeah. Yeah, so I just thought it'd be fun to come for a little walk this evening because it's like half past seven. It's a really, really lovely evening. I know you can't see it 
right now because the iPhone obviously isn't great, but it's just so nice. And Herbie was kind of getting a bit restless, and so was I, to be completely honest. I'm sorry, just going through some bushes. Here we go, Herb. Be free. He literally loves these dandelion things so much. Herbie, look. <laughs> oh my. Great shot, Mum. Hey, angels. Herbie. Hello. Um, okay, we are now back from our walk. Herbie is falling asleep, so I'm not going to talk very loudly. But, yeah, we're back. We had a really nice time. I've actually just ordered a Domino's because it's a bank holiday vibe, sis. Don't know about you, but I am literally so excited. We're back from my walk. I was just, like, looking up at the sky because it was kind of sunset. And it just got me thinking, like, I don't know, whenever I'm on my own, which is kind of rare because, obviously, me and Con live together and we have Herbie and we live, like really busy lives like our house is not just our house it's our workplace and so there's not really much time that we get to spend just like really having alone time and like just doing some deep thinking and stuff but obviously as I've been on my own this afternoon I have appreciated exactly like what alone time means to me and I was just looking up at the sky and it was so pretty and I know this is gonna sound like really cheesy and I've honestly never told anybody this in my entire life I don't even think I've told Connor this but when I was in year one this was like one of my first memories ever like one of my first really vivid memories that I have I was at the playground and it was like winter when the sun sets really really early and I went to a private all-girls school which finished at like 4 15 and the sun was setting and I was sat outside and it was literally like the most beautiful sunset i have ever seen in my entire life it i honestly believed that was heaven i remember sitting there and thinking that must be heaven because my grandpa had just died like when i was like i don't know five and i just remember thinking like that's where grandpa must be because that must be heaven because it looks so pretty and the sky tonight really reminded me of that because it the clouds just kind of like opened and the sunlight just kind of beamed through and it just looks so pretty and it stuff like that just really makes me think about like life and where i am right now and i remember i always used to talk about like my feelings and stuff on youtube and i haven't done it in a really long time and honestly it's just because i kind of feel as though i ha i have not been putting in enough like effort into myself and my like deep thoughts and my meditation and my my manifestation and stuff like that like I, I work really really hard but sometimes not necessarily on the right things and as I was thinking about this I just thought of like how grateful I really am to be living the life I live at the moment like seriously I used to daydream I used to literally walk on the treadmill for hours like lived like two hours when I was like at the peak of my bikini prep daydream about the life that i currently live i used to literally sit there and think oh my god imagine if i actually ever like got to be a full-time youtuber or imagine if i actually ever had a house like a four bedroom house with a dog and this isn't me like trying to boast in any way shape or form at all but i just really want to share with you guys how i'm feeling right now because i know that 18 19 20 year old me would have had a breakdown if i me now was to go back in time and tell her that like it was all going to be okay and i just feel like a lot of you guys could probably be be doing with hearing this now as well and i was scrolling back through some of my old like really really old instagram posts from 2016 earlier and i saw this caption that i had written and it was like a selfie just after i'd done a really long cardio workout and i was saying basically that like my daily schedule was wake up at 5 30 be at work for 7 30 or like leave work for 7 30 or something um leave the office at 5 30 get to the gym for 7 30 be home for 9 30 in the evening go to sleep and do it all again and i wrote in that caption like i know my life basically isn't supposed to be like this and i cannot wait until the day that my life isn't like this and i'm putting in all the hard work now so that the future me doesn't have to still be living this life that I know I'm not supposed to be living like I can feel it in my gut and I remember feeling like that so vividly I just remember reading all of these self-help books and literally just like praying that they would work like I just used to read book after book after book especially in bikini prep and I used to just think oh, I, do you know what if this stuff doesn't work I am gonna be heartbroken because I put so much time and effort into that and I I that was my first real time I like strongly visualized my future 
my future life how I wanted it to be and it all it took was literally tuning into myself imagining the life I wanted to have imagining the person I wanted to be and then having the realization that those those daydreams they weren't just oh my daydreams they were literally they were given to me for a reason I was supposed to be dreaming that those those thoughts I was supposed to be having those visions of myself in the future for a reason because they are the they're like the little easter eggs that guide you along and give you glimpses of how your future is supposed to be yeah I don't know I just I'm just really in my feelings about like my life at the moment I don't know why this alone time has done something to me and just I'm telling you right now you know what it just makes me more excited now for the daydreams that I have now about my future life now you know we're talking like 2021 2022 daydreams I have for how my life is going to be then and where we're going to be living and what we're going to be doing and things that are going to be going on things that at the moment are like sort of like little baby projects that i know are going to be a huge thing in my life and i like i've got goosebumps now thinking about it like it's just it's really it makes it all the while more exciting and kind of overwhelming because because i know that i've i've done this before i've visualized my life now before and it worked it makes it so much more exciting when i think about the future daydreams now because i know that one day all of that stuff is going to be real but honestly angels all it is is you just have to believe in yourself i have said i want to say over a million times now the words you do you boo when i first started like reaching for my my goals and trying to work towards a life that i knew i should be living so much of it for me was caring about what other people thought what my family thought what they were going to say people that were trying to hold me down and yeah unfortunately that is what your main worries are about when you first start to go for your dreams especially if it's something like a freelance job or anything that is like something that society as a whole is kind of against um it gets really difficult but they're the moments in life that are going to literally test you and i know that sounds like something that you would hear from like a motivational youtube channel or like a podcast but honestly those moments you get to decide in those moments whether or not that is going to stop you and hold you back from your life that you know you're supposed to be living versus whether or not it's going to push you forward and do it and get it done and it can be so hard it can be so emotional it can feel like the worst time and you can have so much self-doubt but i am telling you here and now just get it done those those dreams that you are dreaming they weren't given to you by accident they're literally to guide you to the place where you are supposed to to be and you will get there i fully believe in you 100 percent. even if you don't believe in yourself right now i believe in you i believe in every single one of you and i believe that you can all achieve your dreams i really hope you do because i think the world would be so much more of a better place if everybody went for their dreams can you imagine how much of an, a more amazing world we would live in if everybody was living their dream life and they were just going for the things that they were passionate about and they weren't just live like living a a life that is so mediocre because society has told them to can you just imagine that? I don't know. Some deep thoughts for a Sunday bank holiday evening. Right, Herb? Yeah. Um. Anyway, so yeah. Me and Herb were literally just about to start writing down some more goals because I'm literally so deep in my emotions about it right now. So I'm just going to do some kind of journaling. I don't really journal. I don't really know what that is. But just like writing down my goals and like things that we need to get done and cover myself in goosebumps how was telling me all about his goals he says he wants to be the most polite little boy in the world and he wants to cuddle his mum every day and he wants to eat yummy food and play every single minute yeah anyway other than that angels i have actually ordered myself a domino's and i'm very excited about it oh it's just left and it's on its way and i am gonna actually finish off the weekend vlog there because i feel like this has been a long vlog now and i don't know what it would have actually consistent of because i don't feel like i've done much this weekend but um regardless i really hope that you enjoyed this vlog just keeping it real over here boo you know just share my love for you share my love for the world and share my love for herbie and connor <laughs> love you guys so much thank you so so much for watching today's video um and i will see you in the next one hope you guys all had a fantastic bank holiday weekend too and we have some really fun videos this week oh Nice, thank you, Abby, to finish off the video. Love you guys. Bye.